I'm Chinu Her. Data shows there's still a lack of trust in a COVID-19 vaccine among the black community. Dr. Frieda Fisher with Emory University Hospital says that distrust is rooted in history dating back to the 1930s Tuskegee experiment. She says, although that fear is rational and valid, without more black people willing to participate in trials and getting vaccines, there won't be enough medical data to help fight COVID-19 in the black community. I'm Tracy Potts. President-elect Biden says he's got a plan to deal with COVID-19 that includes him getting the vaccine on camera as soon as it's ready, holding on to Dr. Anthony Fauci and asking people to wear their masks for his first 100 days in office. Meantime, in Washington, there is growing optimism that Congress will avoid a government shutdown next week and get some COVID financial relief on the books before the end of the year. President Trump has said he is willing to sign that $908 billion compromise. Georgia has a new congressman. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi swore in Kwanzaa Hall yesterday. The former Atlanta City Council member won a runoff election to briefly fill Congressman John Lewis's seat. I just want to be a unifier, a person who can help us get some things done on behalf of the least of these as Congressman Lewis would. Hall will serve the 5th District only until January 3rd. State Senator Nakima Williams won the seat for a full two-term year last month.